to give everybody general absolution for all the words you used in the second half last week. You're all forgiven. Now I need somebody to forgive me. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, always remember, always look on the bright side. It was a very, very successful season and even a very successful first half. But, you know, if we win too much, the rest of the country will start hating us like the Patriots. So i got to think about it that way. So we're still uh, the darlings of the NFL. So we'll be back next year. And I'm thanking God every day that we, my family, we were going to buy Super Bowl tickets. We we're going to buy eight of them. Um, and we decided not to because the Omicron. So thank you, God. <laughs> We did not go. Okay, all right, so we got some announcements, and I'm not going to talk about any other sports because I know people are taping games that are going on. All right, so tamale cell, uh, you will pick up your tamales on the 26th and 27th. If you have not ordered yet, you may still do so. Just contact the parish office. Our next COVID vaccine clinic will be on uh, tomorrow uh, after the Spanish Mass, 1.30 to 3.30. It will be in the gym. Uh, we will do first rounds, second rounds, and boosters, or whoever, whatever you need, okay? Um, we will have a hosting uh, blood drive. It will be at the gym this Tuesday from 1.30 to 5.30, okay? So that's Tuesday. Um, during this time of the pandemic, uh, the Ministry of Streaming Mass has become an essential to keeping our parish family connected and has provided the opportunity to celebrate Mass as a parish family to those that are homebound due to COVID or any other reason. We are in need of a couple of volunteers to join our Mass streaming team so we don't have to overwork them. If you would like to help in this important ministry, please contact the parish office. So it's not that hard. Bridget's in there right now, and she's in charge of our communication. Let's all say, hi, Bridget. Hi, Bridget. <laughs> Thank you, Bridget. And anyway, so uh, we just have uh, uh, three people that do it. We could use about two or three more, okay? So, that, so you don't have to do it every weekend. So just contact the office, and we appreciate it. Okay, um, that's all I have. I do have um, the Croatia trip that is going to be leaving on um, uh, May 10th this year, whatever. Uh, there's another one. We're doing another Croatia trip in 2023. So those brochures are on the table, uh, the round table in the back. If you're interested in 2023, it's already starting to fill up. So I think we're up to about 12 or 14. Uh, I only have 20 seats. So if you're interested in that, you need to sign up as soon as possible. Okay, birthdays. Who's celebrating a birthday? Anybody at home? Well, wait, here's one. When's your birthday? Today. Happy birthday. <laughs> 80? 80 young years. Congratulations. All right. Is that it? 
All right, everybody at home that's celebrating your birthdays or your anniversaries, congrats. Do we have any anniversaries here in the parish, in the church? Nope. So my cousins and my aunt live in San Francisco. So uh, after last Sunday, I, I texted her and said, well, Aunt Loretta, not a good day for SF or KC. And she said, ain't that the truth? <laughs> so good luck to who's ever left playing. Maybe we'll win some money on the squares. <laughs> Good afternoon. Please join in singing number 790, The Summons, number 790. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, Peter explains, exclaims, depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Like Peter, we at times recognize our own sinfulness and our dependence on God's love, his pardon, and peace. We now pause to contemplate where we were sinning. Lord Jesus, you filled the nets to bursting. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you remind us not to be afraid. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you make us fishers of people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God. 
Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on high and lofty throne, with a train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. They cried one to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim blew, flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken from the tongs of the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin is purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said, send me. The word of the Lord. In the sight of the angels I will sing, in the sight of the angels I will sing, sing your praises, sing your Me, you increase the 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, Christ appeared to more than 500 brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me, for I am the least of the apostles, not fit to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace to me has been not ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled harder than all of them. Not I, however, but the grace of God that is in me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowds were pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake Genereset. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were near tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So there's one thing uh, in all three of these readings that the uh, that are all in common. The first reading is Isaiah, and Isaiah finds himself in a dream in the presence of God. And he says, woe is me, because he knows, you know, that that is it's just incredible, even in a dream. And so he's being very humble. Paul, who was one of the greatest persecutors of those who followed Christ, when Christ appeared to him after the resurrection, Paul totally changed complete conversion, a full 180 degrees. He went from a persecutor to being persecuted. And then Peter, in the gospel, Peter realizes who he is standing in front of, and he says, depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. He's heard of Jesus, but he did not know that much about him other than he's been doing some miracles. And so Peter and his buddies, they were fishermen. They fished in that lake or sea or whatever you want to call it. They fished there all the time. They knew where fish were, where fish were not. And for Jesus to say, cast your nets over here, I'm sure Peter was thinking, okay. (laughs) I don't know what you're trying to prove here. Who do you think you are, Jesus Christ? (laughs) He's like, well, yes. (laughs) So he does, and he realizes that this man is something very, very special that he does not understand because not only is he attracting great crowds of people, even the fish in the lake are all swarming to him. And so he realizes he is just a fisherman. Who is he to be with him? And so he's very humble also. He feels not worthy. Paul felt not worthy. And we have to remember that none of us are worthy. We don't earn worth in God's eyes. But what we earn is his love and his respect. And we have to learn how to do that also, not just with God, but with one another. And so what all three of them are teaching us is we have to look in our lives where we are not very humble, where we need to grow a little bit more in humbleness, 
when we need to understand that no, we are not super holy people who have earned the right to heaven. You know, when we say right before we go to communion, when, when the priest lifts up the host of the cup and says, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and I shall be healed. We're not worthy. But Christ makes us worthy. Christ says, I love you and I'm giving you the gift of eternal life. And all you have to do is accept it. You don't have to become the Pope to get into heaven. You don't have to tell everybody else how to get to heaven. You don't have to be everybody else's policeman. Jesus did not come to the leaders of the, that known world. He went to those that were on the bottom. The fishermen were not considered, you know, the most intelligent people in the world. But they were very smart. The Pharisees, the scribes, the Levites, all those that had a little bit of power, the more power that they had, the least likely they were able to hear and see Jesus for who he was because they were not open to it. Peter, James, all these people were open to the miracle that was standing in front of them, preaching the good news. So we have to remember when we get too high and mighty in our life, in whatever aspect it may be, we're actually starting to close ourselves off to that Holy Spirit because we're becoming our own God. So think about in your daily life, where do I close myself off to God? Where do I pretend to be something better than what I actually am? Because, you know, the Pope, he is a holy man, but he's no more holy than you are. I am no more holy than you are. But we're all in this together, and we're all trying to be better people. We try to be better people by loving and learning. And we do that by not being stubborn, not being obstinate, not being judgmental. All the knots. All those knots just tie you up into knots. So let yourself be unwound. And think about, life doesn't have to be this hard. Open your hearts and your minds to what Jesus says every week. The more we do that, the freer we become, the more humble we can become, and the more we realize how great this gift really is of eternal life. And that's the faith that we walk by. It's not what we do to get into heaven. It's what we believe. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, and Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. 
He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Immediately after the prayers of the faithful, we will have the blessing of the throats, but it will be, I, I will say the prayer over all of you all at one time instead of individually. Hopefully next year we'll go back to individual blessings of the throat in honor of St. Blaise. Jesus heard and answered the prayers of Peter and his partners, blessing them abundantly beyond their belief. We too bring our prayers and petitions to our God, knowing that they will be heard. That the church, following the example of Peter, will be fishers of all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civil servants work to ensure a sharing of goods with those who are in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work against human life, they may find renewed reverence for God's gift of life and treat all people with life-affirming respect, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may thank religious sisters and consecrated women for their mission and their courage, and they may continue to find new responses to the challenges of our time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we who have been called to discipleship may share with others the joyful invitation to follow Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of the St. Sabina Altar Society, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Jose Alejandro Zamora, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Shelley Heisberger, and Rita Miller. May they come at last to see the Lord enthroned in heaven's glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear the prayers we bring before you today and in your great kindness and abundantly abundant generosity, answer them according to your will. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing. Ha, gotcha. <laughs> Through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver each and every one of you from every disease of the throat for those that are here, for those that are at home, and from every other illness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Let us sing. Pardon me. Let us sing together number 798, Two Fishermen, number 798. Leave all things you have and come and follow me. 
and come and follow me. And you good Christians, one and all, would follow Jesus' way. Come leave behind what keeps you bound to trappings of our day. And listen as he calls your name to come and follow near. For still he speaks in varied ways to those his call will hear. Leave all things you have and come and follow me. And come and follow me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good, good and good of all this holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things, sustain us in our frailty. Grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Your lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end. And we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your children. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be our co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace at home, everybody. Peace. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We sing together number 781, Lord, when you came, number 781.
boat carried neither money nor weapons for fighting but nets for fishing my daily labor O Lord in my arms you were gazing kindly smile
Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us sing together number 797, You Walk Along Our Shoreline, number 797.